bienvenidos. Welcome, Hoover Cardinals. My name is Omar Martinez. And my name is Kenya Gurola. On today's episode of The Nest, more info on the 4x4 versus six period schedule. And the Cardinal Spotlight. Do you remember the six period schedule, Hoover Cardinals? The debate between the 4x4 and the six period schedule is again brought upon us. Alonso tells us more on the 4x4 versus the six period schedule. Our schedule here at Hoover has been the 4x4 since 2015. Teachers are now voting for whether they want to change or keep the 4x4 schedule. Well, um, I don't think that the teachers want to change the 4x4 schedule. Um, I think that that might be a misconception among students. The reason we have a vote, and we are going to need to do this every year we're on a 4x4, is because our, teachers con our teacher contract requires that if any schedule at any school is changed from the standard six period day that the teachers need to vote to confirm that that's okay. Um, so what we're doing now is just following through on a contractual obligation. In what ways do you think the 4x4 schedule affects and benefits the students? I think the 4x4 schedule offers students more opportunities to get more credits done in, the less, in less time. Um, it also provides uh, the opportunity, I think, for students to progress at, to higher levels in courses and, and perhaps even uh, to the college level, you know, the community college level courses. Would you prefer having four by four or six periods and why? The four by four because the more time we have with the teachers helps establish a greater bond with them and also um, it's helped me receive more credits. The results are in and the teachers have voted to keep the four by four. Many students did approach Mr. Babineau about keeping the 4x4. Good luck next year, Cardinals. Have you ever been pressured by friends to do things you never wanted to do? It is a common issue on school campuses. Omar informs us more on what peer pressure is and what you can do to alleviate it. Throughout high school, students have dealt with peer pressure from fellow students. But what is peer pressure? What negative or positive attributes does it have on students? Is peer pressure always negative? Um, peer pressure is not always negative. There's something referred to as positive peer pressure, where um, your peers or those that are in your social group or your academic group. What is peer pressure? Positive peer pressure gives a little bit of an example, but peer pressure is the um, pressure to change either your values or your beliefs or your behaviors. So if it's a negative peer pressure situation, just you know, put it on your parents to say, you know what, my parents are going to get mad at me. They're going to get me in trouble. Um, another thing would be to communicate, to communicate to the family that you may live with. If it's your aunt, your uncle, um, your mom or dad, your grandma, your school counselor, a teacher, a trusted adult, just to talk up, talk it out as well that this is going on so that we can also assist um, any supporting adult here on campus. How would you describe peer pressure? Peer pressure is when a group of individuals, mostly your friends, make you want to do something and you really don't want to do it. If you were influenced by peer pressure, how do you feel it affected you? It affected me in a way that um, I guess it wasn't dangerous, but it was like not making me feel good about myself sometimes or even like maybe I would lie to people to get to do what they want me to do, which is not a really good thing. For students that are going through peer pressure, I would recommend for them, if you really don't want to do something, you should never um, be forced into doing it, especially if you're really your friends, because if at some point, if you don't want to do something and they're not okay with it, then you have to ask yourself, are they really close to you or are they really your friends? Positive peer pressure is often overlooked, but does exist and may be described as an influence to do what is right. But also don't forget, negative peer pressure is dangerous and against personal values. Students, remember, you have the power to take action and help stop negative peer pressure. Now, here's your 30-second reminder. Hungry Bird. Questions in the quad. And a new segment called Guess That Tune. Hello, Hoover Cardinals. Today we bring you a brand new segment called Guess the Tune. Participants will get five seconds of a song and will have to guess. If not, then they will get 10 seconds and then 15. Good luck, Cardinals. This week's contestants, we have Luisha Butler and Andrea Martinez versus Daniel Villegas and Luis Lopez. One, two, three. Sexy bad! Is this? I don't know this. Uh, Who sings is this? something. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know the, the name of it. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what did you call it? Is it sexy bad? I don't know. No? No, not sexy bad. Uh. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know. Right. I don't know either. It was sexy back. 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 Oh my yeah. god! Oh, so <laughs> we knew that. Jay Z. Santa Claus? There's Santa guys. Claus is coming tonight. Right. Oh, look at me. Ten seconds. No. What is that? We need words. Yo, oh, Vanilla, um, check it one time, queen. boy. <laughs> what? It's not Queen. <laughs> That's it the, is Queen. That's Lil Uzi featuring no, no, no. Jay Z. Ding, 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 ding. Yo, Vanilla, check it one. That's the Beatles. Day. That's the Beatles Sorry. featuring Jay Z. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's not. Oh, dang. <laughs> that's uh. No, I don't know who it is. That's uh. It's a rapper. What's his name? Uh, Twenty One Savage. Sigh. <laughs> 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 uh, Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Um, Rockstar. Rockstar, Post yeah. yeah. Ah! Motorsport. No. Bad and Bougie. No. That's not how Bad and Bougie goes. No, it's not. It's Motorsport. No, it's not. It's Motorsport. <laughs> no. What? Okay, keep going. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Walking like a talking! <laughs> I got it, it's walking like a talking. Walking like a talking. <laughs> Although part of this contest wasn't filmed, after a close evaluation of points, we have declared this match a tie. This week on Cardinal Spotlight, we have Senior Trung Tho. He was born in Saigon, Vietnam, and came to the United States when he was one year old. He has been in badminton for four years now and was a part of Key Club. He manages his time by putting whatever comes first, like tutoring before practice. Someone he looks up to is his coach slash teacher, Mr. Ta, who has helped him throughout the past four years of high school. After high school, Trung plans on attending college, however, he is still not sure which college he will be attending. He hopes to work in television and film and hopefully become a director slash a producer. Entertainment Boys Lacrosse Senior Night is coming up on May 4th. Blood Drive is happening on May 11th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Sign up in the ASB room. Also, there's a Sadie's Dance May 18th. Pick up a contract in ASB and reserve a spot by going to tinyurl.com slash Sadie's 18. Seniors, if you plan on going to grad night, go to room 204. The last day to purchase your ticket is May 11th. If you're on the LOP, be sure to go to Saturday School on May 5th from 8 to 12 to clear your hours. If you want to try out for the talent show, auditions are today. On this episode of Hungry Bird, join us to Square Bar Cafe, located at 4488 Convoy Street. This cafe serves vast varieties of drinks, appetizers, and desserts. The menu is composed with bubble tea, macaroon ice cream, a variety of ice cream flavors, and lunch such as noodles with fries and popcorn chicken. The cafe is most known for its bubble tea, which comes in different containers such as light bulbs, which comes in one size, camera lens cups, and a regular glass bottle. The cafe has a very modern taste with its creative designs and artistic drawings on the wall, open view, and a great and quiet place to hang out with friends and family. We give this cafe a rating of a 7.5 out of 10. Stay hungry, Cardinals. Good food for a good mood. 
Hello, Hoover Cardinals. My name is Brisa Cappy, and the question today is, what's your biggest pet peeve? What's your biggest pet peeve? When people say four after a question. People in general don't show appreciation or don't say thank you. When people are smacking their food. Hmm, when people talk bad about each other. <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? When people stare and stalk you. When people chew with their mouth open. <laughs> when people smack their gum in front of you and like you tell them not to smack their gum and they keep doing it over and over again. <laughs> Salty. Um, probably like loud, annoying people like in the morning when like yelling already. And it's, <laughs> and it's like early and they're yelling like obnoxious people. Yeah, I hate obnoxious people. Liars. What's your biggest pet peeve? I got a couple, you know what I'm saying? Um, people spitting on other people, that's nasty. My biggest pet peeve is when people tisk me. Sneezing on each other, nah, that's nasty too. When people take my pencil and don't give it back. Or someone takes my seat. Musty. Yeah. <laughs> Lack of ambition. It's double four seven four, you know? That's my biggest pet to you. Thank you. That concludes today's episode. Don't forget, ASB is hosting the Sadie's Dance at the Big Gym on May 18th. Pick up your contracts in room 551. And the blood drive is May 11th. Sign up in ASB. I am Omar. And I am Kenya from The Nest. Remember, Wednesdays, Wednesdays are, are awesome. awesome.